A local nonprofit is raising money to send wheelchairs to people across the world. News on 6's Ryan Gillen has more. Reagan Collins and other occupational therapists are dedicated to helping people with physical disabilities get access to the resources they need. I just love being able to be a part of that change, a part of helping those families out and seeing those faces light up. A couple months ago, the group traveled to Kenya for a research project that would help modify wheelchairs. But when they got there, they realized many people did not have access to them at all. There's over a thousand kids on a wait list for just one of the hospitals that we know of in Kenya. They wanted to do something to help and came up with the idea to start Wings Aloft, a nonprofit that helps provide wheelchairs to people in need across the globe free of charge. They have already donated wheelchairs to people in Kenya and Guatemala, including a little boy named Daniel. He can't walk and before he was able to get a wheelchair, he was getting around by sitting on a skateboard and using his hands to push himself forward. Jessica Tesaurus is a member of Wings Aloft and helped Daniel get off the ground and into a wheelchair. Now he's in a wheelchair, pushing himself, happy as can be, and um, again, has more opportunity, more social um, social interactions, being upright and being able to move independently. Wings Aloft is trying to raise money to send 80 more wheelchairs to Kenya by the end of this year. And Tesaurus and Collins hope more people will join their cause. One simple wheelchair can change a whole family village and it expands. It's, you know, it's their dignity and their pride and their family, um, you know, seeing their child um, upright and talking and, um, and having that mobility and to go into the community. So it, it really means a lot to me. It's something that I don't want to ever stop doing. Tesaurus, Collins and other members of Wings of Loft are planning to go back to Kenya in March. In Tulsa, Ryan Gillen, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.